Well, that was shocking. So anyway, welcome to this flight. Uh, it's a bit of a mixed up flight today because I've left one of my cameras at home and that's normally this one. Um, but it's not all about the cameras. It's all about the journey and the experience and if I can bring you along for a flavour of that, then so be it. Um, as with all things, focusing on the vlog is not the priority and I've forgotten to turn this camera on to record it prior to departure. But again, it's not the priority of the flight. The priority of the flight is going on an adventure. Now flying in a PV is a little bit more of an adventure than, uh, than I would say other slightly heavier aircraft or slightly um, more enclosed aircraft. You have to plan everything because if you drop something, you can't just put it on the seat next to you and find out what's, um, you know, pick it up in a minute. Everything's got to be available um, and safe. So today's journey, I've probably worked it out from the title, from the thumbnail, is we're off to Compton Abbas. And it's, a, it's an airfield that's been on my list for a while. Um, it's 50 miles away, it's a little bit further than the brown shutters, so I needed to work out the fuel to get there and back. Uh, I fly a little bit slower than the, the bigger aircraft, so again, any kind of headwind component takes off my ground speed. Uh, so we're only doing 38, 39 miles an hour into wind at the moment, which is not bad considering the high time I'm doing. I've also got to either fly around or fly through and or over the Yeovilton mats. So I'm going to try and give them a call today. Spoke to a friend uh, in the air traffic world who said they probably won't be active, but still give them a call and let other people know that you're there. Especially today, and I'm not sure if this camera will pick it up, but it's very murky today. Legal viz, but it's just murk. Coming up on cloud base now as well. Uh, I'm on nearly 70, I reckon the cloud base is about 2,000 feet. Oh, Q and H. Uh, yes, for those asking today, I have noted my Q and H and QFE before departure. Again, all that planning. Well, it appears that Yeovilton, as my friend predicted, uh, are not active this weekend. I think they're struggling for controllers. Um, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to do blind transmissions as I route through the mats, but I'm going to keep clear of the ATZ, because apparently if the radar's not active, then the mats isn't active either under Rule 11. So a quick update Well, we're at. Uh, my ETA keeps creeping up because it's thinking I'm doing 43 miles an hour and I'm only doing 30. Well, yeah, 31, 31 now. It is a little bit bumpy today, but I'm trying to keep a club that above that uh, sort of thermal layer at the moment. This is murky, but manageable. It's just typical week of high pressure. All those particles just get stuck and the viz just becomes bleh. Right, I'm not sure the camera will pick it up, but that's Yeovilton ahead, um, and I've decided, even though I can't get any anyone on the radar side of um, ATC, that I'm going to route over the top of the mats. So I'm at 3,200 feet now. Uh, the camera will probably see that up, so that's where I am. Yeovilton's dead ahead. Uh, I've got 26 miles to run, and it's saying 12.56. Well, I know that's going to increase. Uh, so it'll be gone one o'clock, probably about 20 past one, quarter past one by the time I get there. Uh, fuel, I've only burnt four litres. I've been in the air 40 minutes. So that's on my six litre burn ratio. Uh, it's been a bit of a hard climb lately. And uh, I'm now above the cloud, uh, which is quite nice. And I've not lost on the air any real ground speed. So I'm quite pleased with that. That uh, I was worried I didn't want to climb up too high because any wind speed with me 
takes a lot of, uh, away from my ground speed on the way there. So I'm really, really quite pleased. Oh, that looks beautiful. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's uh, that's the decision I've made. Oh, keep climbing. I need to back off the power a bit. We'll save some fuel as well. Uh, now at 3.4, 3,400 feet. What a glorious day to be flying. And just bring the power back more. Uh, there we go. So there's wonderful Yeovilton, which is pretty much just before my halfway point. So when I get past Yeovilton, I'll then start thinking about the, uh, the, the, the elements of joining um, uh, Compton Abbas. So sorry it's a bit of a funny old vlog today with only two cameras. Uh, but as I said, it's more about the flying than the vlogging. If you want to join me, that's all really appreciated. Right, so you uh, rejoin me. I'm over the top of Henstridge. I'm just about to do my joining call. Um, it sounds like it's quite busy in the circuit, so I need to keep my wits about me. I'm slow descending, and I've already switched to the QN8 correction, QFE, which is nine and nine and one, just to save myself some workload later on. We're using runway zero eight left hand QFE nine and nine and one hex Pascal's QN8 is one zero two one. Two one nine 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 eight. Uh, zero eight. Let's go. Golf. That's strength five now. Golf. Golf. Power. One zero. Okay. 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 Well done. Both at the same time again. Heli. Uh, Bearhead. Your message. Pass your message. Heli med one zero. Echo. Clearing back out to the west. Roger. Heli one zero. Echo. Thank you for your call. Break. Break. Other aircraft. But go ahead. Yeah. Compton Radio School, Foxtrot, Whisker Lima, Romeo, now cry inbound to you from the west, over at Henstrid, 2,500 feet, 991. Golf Lima, Romeo. Golf Lima, Romeo, Roger, we're using 08 left hand, Curti, 9901, Hex Pascals, QNH is uh, 1021. 08 left hand, 9901, 1021, Golf Lima, Romeo. Right, let's see if I could not screw this up. So, circuit joining, I have the field location ahead of me, it's 8 miles, fuel oil, uh, 14 litres on board, we'll go around required, altimeter I'm already on QFE, I've done my joining call, I will close my hands on. Bloody hell, it's busy. Radio Golf, Foxtrot, Whisker, Lima, Romeo in your, in your overhead for standard overhead join. Golf, Lima, Romeo, uh, Roger, call downwind. Call downwind and just advising very slow moving traffic. Uh, yeah, we've got uh, two in the circuit at the moment. Right, let's see if I can get down. Always a problem I seem to have. Right, fuel. I have 13 litres on board awareness. There is lots of traffic. <laughs> I'm conscious of the wind. There's where the steering is straight, hand right, throttle right, is closed, right, trim is fixed, and I am still. Go, go, go. Uh, Roger, do you need fuel? Uh, negative, I'll park up next to them all. Perfect, thank you. So we're done when checks are complete. I really don't want to mess up today, or any other day, but. Do you need any fuel, Lima Romeo? Uh, negative, Compton Tower, downwind, runway 08, left hand. Coffee Moon, uh, rolling uh, runway 08, so left hand circuit, touch and go, Coffee Moon. Compton Radio, Golf Lima Romeo, final 08, left hand. Lima Romeo, Roger, surface wind is uh, 03010 knots. 03010, Golf Lima Romeo. Right, I will need a little bit of speed. Um, on the centre line.
off camera, uh, runway vacated. Uh, if you could uh, do uh, 180, I think there, just uh, park up uh, at the end of the flight line or wherever there's a space. Hey Sam, golf team right here. Golf, golf, Bravo, final. Golf, Bravo, Bravo uh, Roger, 7040 at 10 knots. <gasps> well, that was shocking. Well, I made it, not my best landing, but I think what I'm going to do is end this video here because the backdrop is amazing. Can't beat this. And uh, I say, other than a short video on the way back, um, I just hope I don't embarrass myself on the way out say, as I did on the way in. Not my best landing. But anyway, nothing's broken other than a little bit of pride. So I thought I was going to conclude this video, uh, leave myself with a bit of uh, tea and cake. And lo and behold, who do I meet? It's Paul. Who's had tea or is having tea and cake? And if you haven't seen Paul's channel, was it R1 Freestyle? It is, yeah. yeah, I'll leave a link to his video in the description. It's all about rebuilding this fantastic machine because you're not just a normal pilot, are you, Paul? Well, no, uh, let, not very let, let's look at the uh, <laughs> let's look at the controls. So, why have you got two sticks? That's the swallow, and that is the rudder. There are no rudder pedals in that. Yeah. Because I didn't bring my wheelchair with me today, I brought a passenger instead. <laughs> he didn't bring a wheelchair with him today, he brought his dad instead, which is great. So I can't believe I've come to come to Lazarus, which is a, a real tick in the box for me, and then to bump into Paul as well. And lo and behold, we've also got James May smashing the circuit in his aircraft as well. So it's, uh, it's put a right smile on my face. Anyway, Paul and I are going to catch up. The last time we saw each other was about a year ago. Um, and uh, we'll leave this video here. So again, until next time, everybody, fly safe. Oh, 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 oh,